What does it mean to be healthy? We eat well, we exercise, we get plenty of rest. We know healthy when we see it. And that's the problem. Sometimes we can't see it. How would you know if the woman you passed on the street on the way to work this morning is facing one of the greatest health problems of her life? You wouldn't, you couldn't know by looking at her because mental health issues reside beneath the surface. Nadine Caslow knows firsthand the realities of these issues faced by her patients. Early on, Dr. Caslow ran into the overwhelming challenges abused women face when she treated a female patient who later committed suicide. That tragic event led her to found the NIA Project, named for the Kwanzaa term that means purpose. The NIA Project is a counseling program for abused and suicidal African-American women. NIA helps scores of abused women who come through Grady's Emergency Care Center each year. The average number of times it takes a woman to leave her abuser is 10, says Dr. Caslow. It's a very slow process, and that's one of the things I've learned to accept. She has learned to recognize the challenges, but she refuses to acquiesce. At a time when Georgia, like many other states, has shuttered nearly all of its mental hospitals, Grady is treating more behavioral health patients than any other institution, save the penal system. Undaunted by inadequate coverage from the state and insurance companies, she has secured grants and started programs to work with the most vulnerable patients. Almost single-handedly, Nadine Caslow fights a not-so-hidden epidemic, the outbreak of which manifests itself all too frequently. These events are indelibly carved into our psyche. All are both cause and effect of a long ignored problem. All are evidence that it's time to reject ill-conceived stereotypes. Not a fan of the status quo. That is what Nadine Caslow aims to do. One of the things that matters most to her is mentoring the next generation of psychologists, physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. She devotes considerable time to teaching and training interns, residents, and postdoctoral students at Grady and Emory, where she is a professor in the behavioral sciences. A former dancer, she returns often to her first love, ballet, and not only for a respite. Nadine also works as psychologist for the Atlanta Ballet. She counsels young adults to embrace a positive self-image and to be guarded against the all-consuming demand of perfectionism, a lesson we all could take to heart. It's with a dancer's poise and a demigod's tenacity, she races headlong into the challenge of addressing everything that is wrong with behavioral health. She applies daily what she learned early in her life, the value of family, her mother, also a psychologist, taught her the value of human empathy. Her father, the calm in the storm, taught it's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. Her brother, always there, gave her unconditional love and support. It's the importance of being a part of a family, of a community, that she applies to help her patients. They are not alone. She helps them rebuild their lives and, by extension, the lives of their families. Dr. Caslow has accepted this challenge throughout her entire career, especially at Grady, where she shares a passion for helping those with little opportunity, where our patients need care the most. Despite the odds, she has made an impact one patient at a time. We are proud of her, and we are grateful. Her light shines eclipsing the darkness of those who need her most.